In this video, I want to go over the Roman numerals helper problem on Code Wars. And if we look over here at our function definitions, what they want us to do for this two Roman function is they're going to pass us an integer called value, and they want us to convert this integer into a Roman numeral. Now for this from Roman function, they're going to pass us a Roman numeral, and we need to convert it into an integer. Now we're going to start out with this two Roman function first, and the algorithm I used to solve this problem can be found in this shell script. So the first thing I did is I created a string called s, and then I created a dictionary of Roman numerals called rom. This dictionary is going to contain all the major Roman numerals from 1,000 down to 1, and each key value pair is going to be a Roman numeral, and the integer value that's associated with that Roman numeral. So let's just say they pass us 499, and so value will be 499, and they want us to convert that integer into a Roman numeral. The way I did it is I iterated throughout every key value pair in this dictionary, and I found the first value that was less than or equal to our val variable, but greater than every other value that was less than or equal to our val variable. If that doesn't make sense, we'll go through a few iterations, you'll understand it, and then we'll start coding it. So for the very first iteration, uh, value would be 1,000. 1,000 is greater than 499, so we go on to the next iteration. 900 is greater than 499. 500 is greater than 499. However, on the other hand, 400 is less than or equal to 499, and it is greater than every other value that is less than or equal to 499. So what we do when we find this is we subtract it from our val variable. So val is equal to val minus 400. Val will now be 99. And then we append the key that is associated to the uh, value that we subtracted from our val variable. So we subtract 400 from our val variable. We find the key that is associated with 400. It's cd. We then append cd to our string s. We continue to do this until val is equal to 0. So let's go through one more iteration. Uh, val is now equal to 99, so we go to 100. 100 is greater than 99. 90 is less than or equal to 99 and greater than all these other values. So that's less than or equal to 99. So what we do is we subtract 90 from our val variable. Val is now equal to 9, and then we append the key that is associated with 90 to our string, and we just keep doing this. So let's get into coding this problem. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paste our dictionary here. This is going to be the dictionary that you saw in my show. And then we're going to create that string that we're going to return at the end. For now, it's going to be empty, and now we need to iterate throughout every key value pair in our dictionary, and we can do this like so. So for key value in rom.items. What this items function does is it converts our dictionary into a list of tuples. We are then unpacking each tuple with these two variables right here. So for the very first iteration, um, key will be m and value will be 1000. And, and then for the second iteration, key will be cm and value will be 900 and so on. What we need to do from here is we need to find the first value that is less than or equal to um, our val variable or the variable that we're converting into a Roman numeral. So we can do this like so. So we're going to say while val modulus value does not equal val. If it doesn't make sense, I'll go through it real quick with you. So say we're on the first iteration and value is equal to 1000. Say the integer that they want us to convert into a Roman numeral is 800. So what this is doing is, with this modulus operator, is it sees how many times value can go into val, and then it takes the remainder. So value will go into val zero times, and the remainder is 800. So 800 is equal to val. So we will just go on to the next key value pair in our dictionary. So essentially all this is saying is if value is greater than our val variable, go on to the next iteration. However, if that's not the case, what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what we did in the show. We don't need to check to see if it's less than any of all the other values because in Python 3.7 and above, we can be certain that this dictionary is ordered. So it's not just going to be random uh, key value pairs, it's going to be for the very first iteration m and 1000 and cm and 900. So we know that if we find if this condition is true right here and we're in this while loop, it is the uh, the value is the 
greatest value that's less than or equal to our val variable. So that really helps out a whole lot. So what we're going to do if this is the case and we're in this while loop, we're going to subtract value from our val variable. So val minus, so, so val is equal to val minus value. And then what we're going to do is we're going to append the key that's associated to the value we just subtracted from our val variable. Well, since we're unpacking each tuple, the key is just going to be key. So we're just going to say s plus equals key. Once we've iterated throughout every key value pair in our Roman numerals dictionary, we know for certain that this s string is going to be the Roman numeral that is associated to the integer they pass us here. So all we have to do is return s. And that is all for that function. For the next function from Roman to integer, it's actually a bit easier. What we do is for, say this is the Roman numeral right here, so xxi will be Roman num. What we do is we take each Roman numeral, x, we find the value that is associated with it in our uh, dictionary, so x will be 10, and then we append it to a total variable. And we do this, and then we remove x. And then we do this for every single uh, Roman numeral in the string until the Roman numeral is empty, and then we'll return the total variable at the end. So let's get us into doing that. We're going to create the total variable, and that's going to be equal to 0. This is going to be the variable that we return at the end. Let me go down a bit. OK. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to iterate throughout every key value pair in our Roman numeral dictionary. So we're just going to say for key value in rom dot items. I know you know what this dot items function does now. What we're going to do is we're just going to say while Roman num dot starts with key. What we're going to do is we're going to say Roman num is equal to Roman num length of key to the very end. So I'm going to explain to you what this does. We're iterating, iterating throughout every key value pair in our Roman numeral dictionary. And then we're just going to check to see if Roman numeral dot starts with key. If it doesn't, we're going to go on to the next iteration, and we're going to keep doing it until we find what our Roman numeral starts with in our dictionary. Once we find it, we then go into this while loop, and what we're going to do is we're first going to remove that Roman numeral from our Roman num variable. So say Roman num was xxi. We iterated throughout our dictionary until we found x, with, which is right here, Roman numeral that starts with key. We are in here. We're going to remove x from our string. And since, if you look up here, uh, Roman numerals can either be one or two digits. And since we don't know whether it's one or two, what we can do to remove it is we can just find the length of the key. It'll either be one or two. If it is one, it'll look like uh, one to the very end of the string. So we're just removing one um, element from our string. And if it's two, we're going to, this will be uh, this will return 2, so it'll be 2 to the end of the string. We'll remove the first two elements from our string, and that's how that works. So once we've removed it, all we need to do is then append the value that's associated with this key to our total variable. So what we can say is um, total plus equals value. And just like on the other function, once we've iterated throughout every key value pair in our Roman numeral dictionary, found each key in our string, or found each Roman numeral in our string, removed it, and then appended the value associated to this key to our total variable, what we can do is at the end of this, we'll just return total. And all this should work. Let's attempt it. And yes, all 210 test cases passed. So that is the Roman numerals helper problem on Code Wars. I hope that you learned something in this video was valuable. If you did, I would appreciate if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.